Welcome to North Wales, a land steeped in history and surrounded by breathtaking landscapes. You've probably heard that we've got a lot of castles here in Wales. Yup, 427 in total. Today we're going to give you a quick tour of seven of our favourites that we visited here in North Wales. From grand and imposing to small and hidden, there's a castle in North Wales for everyone. Enjoy the tour! Our first stop is Carnarvon Castle, a stunning fortification that dates back to the 13th century. This imposing castle has been witness to centuries of battles, rebellions and political intrigue and it's easy to see why. With its iconic towers and battlements, Carnarvon Castle is one of the most recognisable castles in Wales. As well as its impressive architecture, the castle also houses numerous exhibitions, such as the Royal Welsh Fusiliers Regimental Museum. The life of Eleanor of Castile, wife of Edward I, and the dream of Maxon Wledig. Since 1911, Carnarvon Castle was always the traditional site of the investiture of the Prince of Wales, and there is an exhibition dedicated to that too. Carnarvon Castle, there's something for everyone. Just 23 miles from Carnarvon sits another of Edward's mighty castles, Conwy. Built in the late 13th century, this castle is testament to the power and wealth of the English crown at the time. Do take time to explore Conwy's town walls. These are amongst the finest and most complete in Europe and stretch from the castle around the heart of Conwy. This is one of the most dramatic castles you'll see. Don't be afraid to climb the staircases if you can. There isn't a better place in Britain to stand on the battlements and dream. Our next stop is Harlech, a stunning fortress that perches on top of a hill overlooking the coast. It may not be the largest of Edward's castles, but it has one of the best outlooks of all of them. This castle played a key role in the wars of Welsh independence and it remains one of the best preserved fortifications from the Middle Ages. Climb up to the battlements for stunning views of the mountains and the sea. Marvel at the cannonballs from battles long ago. Harlech Castle is a gem. Next on our tour we visit Dolbadarn Castle a compact but impressive fortress that sits atop a hill overlooking the valley below. Welsh built, Dolbadarn Castle was once a vital link in the defences of the ancient kingdom of Gwynedd. It was most likely constructed by Llewellyn the Great in the late 12th or early 13th century. It sits just outside Llamberis at the base of Snowdon, Wales's highest mountain. It is also one of Cadw's free sites, so there's no cost to explore this one. It is a mysterious and lonely castle, but with incredible views of Snowdonia. Our next stop is Denby Castle, a sprawling fortress that dominates the town of Denby. The castle was built in the 13th century and was once a seat of power for the English crown in Wales. It was once the royal residence of David ap Griffith, whose attack on nearby Harden Castle provoked the English king Edward I to mount a full-scale invasion. Today, Denby Castle is a ruin, but it still commands a stunning view of the surrounding countryside and provides a fascinating glimpse into the rich history of North Wales. Next, we visit Flint Castle, a sprawling fortification that dates back to the 13th century. Flint Castle has such an important place in history 
as it was the first castle to be founded by Edward I in his campaign against Llewellyn the Last in North Wales. It was started in 1277 and largely completed by 1284. It has such an imposing position looking out over the Dee estuary. This castle played a key role in the Welsh Wars of Independence and was one of the last castles to fall to the English crown. It is now a ruin, but its imposing walls and breathtaking views make it a must visit for anyone interested in the history of North Wales. Our last stop is Eulo Castle, a compact but impressive fortress that dates back to the 13th century. While Welsh princes generally chose lofty vantage points for their fortresses, Eulo sits in a hollow and deep woodland and is all but invisible until you arrive. The setting may seem idyllic today, but these borderlands were once hotly contested territory where the English and Welsh frequently clashed. This castle is another that played a key role in the wars of Welsh independence. It is also another fascinating example of medieval military architecture and we highly recommend a visit. And that's a wrap. We hope you've enjoyed this tour of some of our favourite castles in North Wales. If you've enjoyed this video, we'd be really grateful if you'd like this video, subscribe to our channel and leave us a comment. We have left links to all of our videos that feature these castles below, in case you'd like to see more of them. There are, of course, many, many more castles to be seen in Wales. We hope you enjoy them as much as we do when you visit.